Hello, we are here today to review TSA approved multi-tool for airline travel. Hi, I am Laura, your guide to everything travel. Thank you for joining me today and let's get rolling on our TSA approved multi-tool review. So what is a TSA approved multi-tool? Well, it's a simple tool that does a bunch of things and fits in your pocket and meets TSA approval. So you ask, can you take a multi-tool in a carry-on bag? Well, here's what TSA says. In a nutshell, they say that anything that has is a sharp object, has a knife blade, or has scissors greater than four inches long cannot be in your carry-on bag and must be placed in your check bag. So we need our multi-tool and we want to take it with us. So how do we pack it? Well, a few multi-tools can go in a carry-on bag. And I did find one or two, maybe three, that, that will go in your carry-on bag and a couple that you would have to check. And I bet your multi-tool has an imprint in your pocket because you've carried it everywhere. But if you find one that needs to go in a checked bag, maybe for the short time of flying, it'd be okay to pack it away. There's three things that we need to look for when buying a multi-tool, and that is the weight, the durability, and the function. The weight needs to be lightweight, and it needs to fit comfortably in your hand because it is a small tool that you'll be using a lot. Durability, most uh, multi-tools are made of stainless steel, which is very good because they last a lifetime and they don't, rat, don't rust. And then function. Um, if you want to do it in carry-on, it needs to meet TSA approval functions and it needs to have many functions so you can do everything with it. So let's move on to review our five best multi-tools. Our first one is the Leatherman Tread Bracelet. This is a bracelet for male or female that you wear on your wrist. It has a hex driver, a Phillips head, a box wrench, a bottle opener, a flat screwdriver, and 25 more functions. So a total of 29 functions. It only weighs 9.6 ounces. It is stainless steel. And you can wear it on your wrist so that when you go through TSA security, um, you take it off to go through and then put it back on. More than likely, it'll pass through. Next, we have the Tool Card Pro by Lever Gear. It is a multi-tool the size of a credit card that does not have a knife or any sharp objects, only weighs 0.96 ounces and fits in your wallet, has a lifetime guarantee replacement, 40 functions in all. And the only thing is you may need to take it out of your wallet when you go through security checkpoint, but uh, I'm not sure about that. Um, you might just leave it in there and see if it passes through. Next, we have a Victronics Rambler Red. This is a knife my husband uses, or the multi-tool my husband uses. It's small and compact keychain tool. And although it does have a knife blade on it, my husband usually takes it out, puts it in um, the checked back, the carry-on backpack, and it passes right through fine. It, it is 2.28 inches long and only 1.06 ounces, lifetime guarantee, and has 10 functions that my husband uses for everything. Next, we have a Victronic Swiss Army knife. It's a powerful tool, has wire strippers, two blades, screwdrivers, key ring, and 10 more functions. 3.6 inches long and weighs 3.5 ounces, has a lifetime guarantee, 29 functions, and more than likely because it's got more than one blade on it, you'll have to put this in your checked luggage. And then finally, we have the Leatherman Wave Plus. 
Um, this is a pocket-sized tool with replaceable wire cutters, pliers, needle nose, and regular, a bit drivers, openers, spring action, scissors, and five more tools. And it's only two inches long and two inches wide, and it only weighs 0.53 pounds. 25-year warranty, has 12 heavy-duty useful tools, but it will more than likely need to be in your checked baggage. And so, this concludes the five of the best TSA multi-tools. TSA may, to um, may toss it at security point if your device has a sharp blade or scissors that are longer than four inches, but you may get away with packing three of these in your checked luggage, and that would be the first three that we talked about. And I want to thank you for joining me today, and like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.